Patty, welcome to the show. Thank I should you. say crafting cra- Patty Crocker, huh? <laughs> Boy, we got a lot of stuff. And you got a lot of stuff here. I've got some on my hands that you gave me before we went on camera, and that's hand sanitizer. Tell me what all is going on, Patty. Well, you can't find the sanitizer anywhere. I've heard that rumor. <laughs> it's really hard to find, so I decided to make it. And it has um, aloe vera gel, and the gel I use is actually a sunburn gel, so it's got lidocaine and all kinds of vitamins and that kind Good of stuff. Good things for the hand. Yeah. yeah. So, and then it has essential oils, mm-hmm. lavender, tea tree, and eucalyptus oil. So, uh, that's what kind of gives it the cloudy mm-hmm. effect, but it has a real good odor to it. And then I make a disinfectant spray, which, if you can find it, it's the Kabom, mm-hmm. or Kaboom disinfectant spray. Okay. And then I add essential oils to it. Mm-hmm. And then I also have another one that is basically the uh, hand sanitizer, but I've distilled it down with distilled water and witch hazel. Okay. So it'll make a disinfectant spray. Uh-huh. I keep this in my pocket, so when I go to Walmart, I everybody. Yeah, there you go. Um, then we have an anti-anxiety. You know, nobody has an anxiety these days. No. Um, uh. <laughs> It's got uh, hmm. what's called Florida water, uh-huh. and then I put essential oils in it. Okay. So that works. Then we have cleaning wipes, which is um, cleaning uh, vinegar. Yeah. And I added distilled water, lavender, tea tree oil, and pine essential oils. Okay. Um, and then I enhanced um, for hygiene wipes. They're like baby wipes, uh-huh. but I added um, baby gel, distilled water, witch hazel, and lavender. Uh-huh. So it gives a, a real good smell to them. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite the baby smell, uh-huh. but, it, you know, it helps. Then I have a disinfectant um, wipe, and that is the uh, Kaboom uh-huh. with the essential oils in it. I have the blue masks, and then I have what's called the N95 um, isolator mask. Okay. And then there's instructions on it how to clean them. Because even with your blue uh, masks, you can clean them. Really? You boil some water, uh-huh. put it in a container kind of like this, mm-hmm. let it cool down a little bit, Yeah. place your mask in it. Mm-hmm and let it sit for 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Take a little bit, of, about a quarter teaspoon of Dawn dish detergent, mm, put yeah. in there, and take a soft toothbrush, gently scrub it, uh-huh. rinse it, hang so, it to dry. So you got these available for people? I have, I have a few of them. Yeah? Um, I have about 30 of the blue. Okay. About midweek next week I'll have some uh, they're kind of a jersey material, black, that is reusable. Mm-hmm. Um, they were supposed to get in this week, but with the snow over the ridge and coming from Reno, yeah. um, they're still Th- playing in the snow. Things aren't moving quite as fast as they usually do. No. Then, with Easter coming, I've made a little Easter gifts yeah. that have uh, some bath stuff in it, uh-huh. a mirror. A fuzzy keychain uh-huh. and a hand sanitizer. Those are $25. Uh-huh. Then, all these ladies who like to go get their nails all done. Who can't go out and get their nails all done. Yeah. I have what's called nail strips. And these are really hard to put on. You <laughs> take them, they're, they're like this. Uh huh. And you take it like that because it's a sticker. And <laughs> you put it on your nail like that. Uh huh. And you can take a file or clippers. And just clip it off. And there you have a fancy nail polish on. Well, there you go. And I mean, that's. And these uh, will last you about two weeks. Yeah. 
I've been planting flowers, get my hands all in the dirt, doesn't bother them. So, but that's how hard it is to put on a nail strip. Well, and I have probably about 40 different designs. Do you? Mm hmm And how do I get a hold of you to access all this stuff? Okay, you can call me at 559-999-2376. Uh, okay. Or my email address is craftersgarden at gmail.com. Yeah. Or you can find me on Facebook, Patty Crocker. Now, there's a lot of Patty Crockers. So go look for the one that's got the little girl... I, that, that you when I was two years old when you were just a yeah, I, couple years younger than you are today yeah, yeah, yeah. a day or two I just didn't want to so Patty if I, if I go to your Facebook page or mm -hmm. somebody does do uh, you have pictures of all, all, all I don't pictures? yet but I will post them tonight okay so um, people can kind of thumb through your mm -hmm. your catalog of stuff and we're going to get it on there all right and then I'm all so I've got about six of these and these are little hook onto your belt buckle or your uh -huh. purse or your backpack, and it it's sanitizer. Hand hand sanitizer. Yeah. Awesome. Um, it's commercially made, um, but and they're refillable. Uh huh. So. So you kind of really geared up for this, huh? I'm I'm trying. You're there. You go. Because we, it's hard to find these things. It really is. And the alcohol, to make the hand sanitizer, you have to have at least ninety percent. Because by the time you dilute it with the gel and the essential oils, it right. dilutes the alcohol. Right. So I bought my alcohol at Gibson Winery in Sanger, and it's 189%. Ooh. So it's going to kill anything. <laughs> but don't drink it, even though it's supposed to go in the wine, because it gets processed. Yeah. So. I was I was just thinking maybe if I had inhaled a little something I I could take a, a little bit of that <laughs> and disinfect that. Huh? Yeah, I just kind oh. of. Now I have been told that um, apple cider vinegar, yeah, taken two or three times a day will help keep all the bacteria and the virus and the germs cleaned out of your system. Well, that's a good thing. So you know, but that's something I take all the time, so mm -hmm. it's not something new so what made you decide to just uh, I know you do a, a lot of really interesting craft things but uh, I mean be, this is kind of like a public service type of thing yeah and I've given a lot of it away yeah. to uh, postmen mm -hmm. uh, policemen mm -hmm. um, I made a uh, grown man cry yesterday which was like oh wow um, the guy that does the street sweeping. Yeah. I stopped by and I he was stopped on the side of the road and I asked him if he needed it and he says we can't get it anywhere and I handed it to him and he got a big tear in his eye and it's like uh, oh come on. Well, there you Something go. Something that simple. Mm-hmm. But you know and I was I did the same with a security guard. Mm -hmm. um, he was sitting, you know he was doing his job at the two places he was working. But he was sitting, he just looked like he lost his last friend. Yeah. So I drove up to him and I says, hey bud, you need some sanitizer? He goes, yeah, I can't find it anywhere. And I handed him a bottle and he looked at me and he says, you're the first person that's been nice to me today. He says, I was thinking of quitting my job because of how mean everybody has gotten and he says, you've, he says, now I won't. He says, I've got a nine-year-old daughter, so I really couldn't. He says, but you made my day. And well, it's something just as easy as walking up and handing somebody a bottle. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Dan. You know, yeah, I sell them. Mm -hmm. These are $4. Mm -hmm. And you have them available. And I have them available. I've got about 20 of them right now, and I've got the ingredients to make more. Mm-hmm. But when you can bring a smile to somebody's face by just handing them, that was worth a hundred dollars to me. You betcha. Well, that's awesome. You know, so you pay for it; it always comes back. Mm -hmm. You know, and when that's what we have to do right now is be kind to each other. Everybody's just being a little 
Tasmanian devils out there. Well, I have no idea what you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know yeah. it's. So it's you know we need we need to be like Snoopy. You know, love everybody. <laughs> That's it. Well, Patty, I want to thank you for that sharing yeah. that. Uh, once again, how do we get a hold of you? You can call me at nine 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 two three seven six. Email me at craftersgarden at gmail dot com, or find me on Facebook. Patty Crocker with my profile picture of me when I was two. There you go. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. And I mean that thanks for being on the show and thanks for what you're doing. That's awesome. Oh, well, it, it gives me something to do. I normally do vendor events, mm -hmm. but with this virus we're, out. We're they, not doing many vendor events right now. They kind of shut us all down, yeah. so I figured, okay, I'll come up with some other way to make a few dollars. Well, there you go. And help people at the same time. That's great. And don't forget, ladies, you can't get your manicure, but I can make sure you've got something that's going to give you pr pretty nails. <laughs> Very good. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Patty. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you when we come back.